right? Well, that's what's happening is here. He's grabbing me here. I am worried about it. Hold strong. I'm worried about it, and I'm fighting him right at that point. My arm is tense, and if he pushes me, he has a hand on my center. Now it does. Okay. It's up to me to let go of this. Now, if I'm like there, what? Yeah. This is free. My spine's free. He can move my arm where he wants. Okay, practice, please. Please let go of your arm. There's something I'm learning more and more. There's something I'm learning more and more that I absolutely learned. Parts to it. One is that who okay, will reflect anything I do. Right? I guess the other is almost the same, that whatever I feel is what we Right? If he's grabbing me here and I sense my shoulder, he can stop me. So yeah, you just let go of the shoulder. I let go of mine. The illusion is, is that we're in conflict with each other. It never happened. In order for you to grab me, he needs me. You cannot do it without me. Who takes from you all conflict? Stronger! He wants conflict. If he doesn't get it, he doesn't know what to do. You know, it's up to you to release the conflict. It's never, never there. kind of existential shock when they touch it. <laughs> because they're expecting conflict. They want conflict. They're very needy. Right? It's not really about you being strong. It's about them being alone. Right? He comes in and he says, come on. He wants that, right? Now, when you do this, from here, when he gives you his power, you have connection to his whole body. See, he's trying to do stuff. I'm moving his back foot. Right? He's giving me his power. From here, through. Hey, let's go. Hey, thanks. Thanks. Very important thing. Going back to the uh, sword. Let's do it. Your hips are right here. Your focus is here. It's really important. But now I'm leaning, you can feel my whole spine a lot. Because I was on the flat line. You understand? I'm not leaning. This is very sharp. This is a sword sharp. And there's nothing on it that he can do. He's a push up. Now he's pushing on the top of my arm. Take the hook. Just take the hook. And his power comes out of his feet. Okay? okay. okay. Yes, to finish your tank No, go to the left side. This other tank. Finish your tank on. Now, these fingers here are leading my toes that way. Okay, good. This, what a lot of you are doing with the worry about this, you're doing tank on like that. Right? This, your spine should be free. It looks like what you said, right? You know, your spine should be just really free to unfold. It shouldn't depend on looking. Okay, there's, I don't know the Japanese word for it, but there's a, there's a way of saying, uh, <coughs> float your uke, okay. make your uke okay float, right? When you give uke okay conflict here, he gets strong in his feet. I keep you keep rooting him, because the conflict thing. You can just have his feet, not have any, just imagine he's not like a little photograph, one inch off the ground. Don't do anything that helps his feet get strong. Okay, basically, this root goes to this hand, like the fruit bottom. So when they attack here, you actually have a connection to that. That's how you should see it. You shouldn't see it like the arm here, so then his root is strong. Right? I see that as a leap from his back foot that he's giving you. Right? And, it, and, it, and when you finish, too, you don't have to reestablish and put it back through. From here. Take your feet up. Just take your feet up. 
Let's say the attackers are usually by the feet. They only have two feet. Okay, good. Look at my foot as I set my line. It's here. And I'm leaning on it. Now watch when I go straight up. Now, this is, I'm free here. Very disconcerting. Okay? So when you move, I'm like, right now all my awareness is here, and that is blind to both of us. Now it's all light for me as well. Make sense? Watch, watch the hips. Now I hit this one. See? So in order to get over here, I'm just aiming. And I don't have to hold stroke. I don't have to ask permission. There. Okay. And then his power starts to leak. If I bottle up this power, he still can feel it. He can feel his own strength. Okay, right. Here, look. When you're here, if you see your control stroke, if you see your arm is an obstacle, then it is an obstacle. You won't break through your arm. You know, you don't have to put this in between. Just walk through. Here, look, you can do a pulse from You're here. Now I'm here. I want to get with her in this room. Okay, good. Thanks. Take a look. It's natural in a lot of techniques to think of the beginning and then the end as two separate things. Like you go here and then you go after. No. That's it. You, in other words, you get away from the conflict and you get put right back in. Right? When you make the circle, this will eventually, this circle will come back in. Right? That's what circles do. You know, you're going this way and all of a sudden you're going this way. But if you separate from it, you lose all that lead. Hey! Thanks. Okay. Uh, this might be a useful point. Uh, you know, uh, talk about circle, triangle, and square, right? These are abstract shapes that humans can comprehend, okay? And actually, that's how you throw with it, with the use of those shapes and settings. And you can see them structurally in the Omni, you can see them in space in the turning, right? You can see them in the landing and in the foundation. You're switching between circle, triangle, and square. Part of the learning is about your own body, but part of it is just your mind projecting that into space. It doesn't really matter, you know, if I can, if, if, if I make the circle in space, that'll be fine. If it's, if, in case following it, it'll be fine. It doesn't matter about me. But that's the paradox. If I do everything right, it doesn't matter about okay. If I do everything right, it doesn't matter about me. Right? So when you do this, if you're thinking, see, muscles, see, thinking muscles and structure, thinking all that, that's all back into my body. But from here, I'm just thinking of surf. Hey, listen, as you practice, as you practice, uh, all of us have habitual ways of making an effort. Usually it's a bad idea. You know, I'm going to work hard. Now, you already see, you already messed up. So that's the difficult thing, is to do things without making an effort, whatever that added extra thing is. It's always extra, you know, the effort is like, what is that? Some kind of whatever. And so as you practice, you'll notice, pay attention to where in your body you're tensing, you know, where you feel pressure. And try to, in the practice, that's the purpose of the practice, is under pressure to not have any of those things happen. When you meditate, it's easier because nobody's bothering you. But you may not notice where your tension is. Your being will show you. Okay, so continue to practice. And really watch your breathing, watch your shoulders, watch your elbows, watch your forehead. Okay, good. Okay. Attached to you, ideally, like you're a puppeteer and he's the puppet. Right? And you control his body movement, right? From here, we get here. See his position here? Yeah. Now he's like this. Now, so when I want to throw him from here, I should push these stroke. I should push that because I just a center underneath the arm is relaxed. Okay? If I push down on him, then I'm actually lifting my own thigh. This is just my center. It looks, uh, it looks just like what Sickle Sense they were doing with the bokeh, okay, right? So don't reestablish the conflict. You can just it up to And he falls because he's holding up to legs. Okay, good. Right? <laughs> that, that, that last point clear again. When you do a Rimi Naga, right, you have this position here. And it's quite obvious if you put the center in other hand. It's the same thing here. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, in other parts, there's, uh, there's a concept of double wave. When you're like this, you're double wave. Nothing's moving. This is 
purpose for that, but it's not shouldn't happen in the middle of the fight. You have to avoid it. Okay, so uh, when you get to the end of this technique, don't stop. Double wait. This foot, the purpose of this foot, in my opinion, is to keep you from falling when Uke does. Right? At the, after he's gone. So from here, I'm oh, sorry, from here, weight goes to here, stays in this foot, and this just goes. Okay, now Aikido is specifically designed in its techniques for group attack. Right? It's not one on one. It's one on nothing or everything on whatever, you know? But it's not a fight between two people. It's not the same as the martial art where you're trying to get it. You're just watching us. Okay, okay. <laughs> so you have to check your attitude. If your attitude is to be fighting, then you have to realize, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I do it, you know. You know? You know? You know? You know? You know? Once it gets past a certain point, I don't have to do it right. I can muscle it. But that doesn't mean it's good. It's just okay. That's as far as I've got. Uh, from here, when you get to the end, you see, if you come back to thinking it's me and him, it's very limited. It should be bigger than it open. So from here, this is way down there. Right next to me. Okay, good. Well, that's another point. I don't, I'm just going to throw these thoughts out to help you in action. So don't stop too much. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Uh, okay. It's like me. Hmm? Empty. Yeah. When, that's right. When you, when you do the technique perfectly, you will feel nothing. And you will be very unsure of what you did. Because you can't have a grip on it. The whole point is not to have a grip on it. So you can't. There's no. The only. That's what's so wonderful about our way of practicing. You're okay four times, you're not getting and you want your nage to do it fantastically well so that you as Uke can understand it, right? But if you, whatever amount you feel like, I got him or I felt pressure or all of that, that's a lack of perfection in the technique. It's not surprising. But when it's perfect, you really don't feel anything. And that's very like, oh, what do they do? Okay, so practice. You know, your Uke, don't get hung up on your Uke. And actually, as soon as Uke, it's his parallel. As soon as Uke is aware of you, the harmony is there. Right? And then it just takes care of itself. Obviously, that takes a lot of experience and knowledge, but ultimately, it's just, you know, you know? And then if you throw me on like this, you know, oh, gotcha, you know, everybody else will get you. <laughs> right? He's just party movement and nothing happens there. Like a sickle sensor is going from technique to technique. You don't know, here, this flow is right through here, and you're, you're off to your next one. But the joke is, you remember Don Little Reese where he was doing the golf ball in that movie? And he's cutting the cat. He goes, who's cut his tail? Get me with the cat. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, you know, there's visual awareness. And then there's everything you're aware of that's not visual. Right? In, in Aikido, uh, one of the standing like this, you can call this the light side or the bright side, and that's the dark side. Where we can't sit. When you do at the end of the technique, if you turn like this, you're putting it back in the light side. This way, if I throw one thing back, my light side here, he's throwing it the dark side. There's a choice. There's, a, there's, there's a, more than one way to do it. You can turn like back this way. I'm totally focused here. Right? Or, yeah, let's turn back. Okay? Please. Okay. 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 Much easier. Right? You can switch this to the guy. Now, her power is coming from that foot over there. It's just like that.
I think about it so that I can be sure what this session is all over the human set. So from here, I see it's very I'm thinking about that outside. But that's the public part. I'm sending a message. There's nothing to do with my body. I'm sending a message to that outside footprint that I'm following them right. But it's not just running around in form, thinking I'm going to do this, I'm not paying any attention. That's the problem. <laughs> okay. From here, there. Hey, let's go. Go ahead. 